All right, let's see what we got on the game camera. <gasps> what? No way. Good morning. It feels like winter is back. It's 37 degrees out right now, and tonight it's supposed to get down to 22. So we're really gonna have to check in on the meat birds this morning and see how they're doing, but then tomorrow morning, whoo-wee, I hope they stay warm. I'm curious if they're feathering out yet, because we've had them for almost a week now, a day shy of a week, so tomorrow will be a week. So they're older now, so hopefully they have some feathers on them to keep them warm, because it's gonna be a chilly one. We have two heat lamps out there for them, so hopefully that is enough. The chickens are doing good, the goats, they're already up this morning. They got all their hay eaten from yesterday, so they're gonna need some more. We are gonna be installing some game cameras. I wanna thank our friends over at Cuddyback. We have quite a few game cameras we need to set up so we can keep an eye on the property and all the critters. Yesterday we went down to the brook and we were seeing quite a few tracks down to the brook where we broke open the beaver dam. I wanna set up some cameras there, see what's going on. I wanna put cameras over here, but I don't think we should yet while he's still over there excavating because he'll just start setting off the cameras. But every time I go out there, I've been finding Mondo moose tracks. They're huge. And like every day I go out there and there's another big, fresh, fat moose track. So the moose are just right here in this area. I know we always see the deer here. So we gotta figure out where we wanna set up some other cameras. But first, we need to take care of all of these animals. And then we're gonna get some game cameras set up and I can't wait to see What's lurking around the homestead? That'll all be in this video. Come on and figure out. There you ladies go, enjoy. We are loving the new nesting box with the roll away egg catcher. It keeps the eggs so clean. The chickens are finally starting to use it, all of them, which is nice. So I wish we would have known about one of those years ago. And you know, it keeps us so far from getting any really dirty eggs so we don't have to do any washing. So that comes in handy. If you guys are looking for a new nesting box, I'd look into different roll away nesting boxes because they're kind of cool. Morning ladies. I know there's a bunch of different companies out there that make them. We got ours from Premier One, but I've seen them all over the place. And if you're building a new coop, I would design your coop around one of those because it's going to save you a lot of time of washing eggs. Ladies, excited for your hay or what? Buttercup. All right, enjoy, ladies. Good morning, boys. You ready for your breakfast? I think you are. Come on, come on, come on. Over here. It looks like the pigs are loving all that fresh straw I gave them last night. They are hunkered down in there somewhere. They are gonna need that tonight, that's for sure. Let's see if we can find them. They gotta be in there somewhere sleeping. Come on in, honey and ham. Where are you? Good morning. There you are. You like that straw? <laughs> all right, well, I'll let you go back to bed. The sun's coming out. It's going to be a beautiful day. Where's the other one? Right there? Yep. Come on in. You guys are funny. All right. I'll let you be. You looking for some eggs? I didn't bring any this morning. Maybe this afternoon I'll give you some eggs. They sure do love their eggs. Usually, eh, maybe once a day I'll give them a couple of eggs. and I think that's what they're looking for this morning. But... They're gonna have to wait till later. I wonder how the meat birds are doing. You guys are just little meat factories. They've drank in two gallons of water and two scoops of feed in 24 hours. And they are starting to feather out, which is good. none of them are huddled up and they're all out and about and eating they are plenty warm enough which is good we have we didn't lose any overnight 
The real test will be tonight being down to 22, but I feel good about it because they're very active this morning and it's in the 30s and none of them are just huddling under the light and they're getting older, bigger, and they're starting to feather out. So I think we should be fine. Our next batch comes in just over a week. So those guys won't be ready to go out on pasture yet. I will put them in on the other side of the brooder and then in a week or two after we get the next batch, those ones will be ready to go out on pasture in the chicken tractors. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it is snowing out right now. <laughs> Towards the end of May, I'm having snow showers. <sighs> I told you that cold weather was coming. I guess they weren't lying. I just wasn't expecting to see snow. Figaro, you got some snow on you, dude. You wanna go in and warm up? All right, well, it's still snowing out a little bit, but not as bad as it was. It is windy and cold. We're gonna get out and put up some of these Cuddyback game cameras that Cuddyback sent us. I want to get one of the cameras set up here and see what we have coming in to the pond. Let me show you what we got. So Cuddyback heard us talking and saying we need to get some game cameras to see what we have around here. So they sent us four different ones. So we have three that are with their link system. So this is our main camera. This one right here is a cell phone camera. We have one cell phone plan that I just set up and then they sent us two of them that link to this and you can link up to 24 of them together and only have one cell phone plan, which is kind of cool. No, nope, that's not it. So these two right here, this one and this one, they sent us and they will take pictures also. They'll send them back to this main camera and then this main camera will send us to them either text or email and you can set it up online of how many times you want to get that. So I just set it up. I'll get in text and email once a day at like four in the morning of all the different pictures. So those will all tie together. You can do up to 24 cameras all in one with just one plan. Then they also sent us their tracks. This is another cell phone one, but this works on it's a plan by itself. So this one doesn't tie to all the other cameras. So this one, we're gonna go back down and put down below by the beaver dam that we were at yesterday to see what was down there. Cause there's a bunch of fresh tracks. So I wanna get this one down there. So we'll set the main hub one up here at the pond and then we got to figure out where we want to put these other two. All right, so let's go take a quick gander and see where the freshest tracks are because we know there's a whole bunch of different critters coming in. Look at all the tadpoles right there on that rock. Oh, yeah. I bet you that rock is warm. And they're probably using that to keep themselves a little bit warmer. You know what else all those tadpoles are? That's all delicious fish food for the fish in the pond. And we might be having some more fish coming soon. So it's pretty dry out right now, so there's no fresh tracks. I don't know if we'd see anything down here Ooh. by the spring. I know there's moose that come over here. Usually in the springtime, we see a lot of bear activity in this area and then a bunch of small game. So I'm just trying to figure out. Do you want to go on that trail? We saw that big moose. Well, I'm thinking if no matter what. Moose Alley? Set the first camera up here. Yeah. We'll go up above 
we'll put one up a little bit higher, and then we'll put one down at Moose Alley, and then we'll put one down at the brook, and then we'll have to get one sometime. I don't know if you want to do it today, maybe not put the one up above. We should probably get one out in your secret garden area and see if there's some, anything coming in up there. Let's either do one here or up above, one or the other. We gotta do one here. Okay, do one here. Do one at Moose Alley. Do one in the secret garden, because that would be nice to know what we got going on up there. And I then agree. one over by the beaver area. All right, right here, we got a good size deer track. And that's gotta be pretty fresh, because it's not a dark gray, or it's not a light gray, I should say. It's still pretty dark. So it's been a good sized deer walking around here. So yeah, we'll go there, pointing this way. That's probably a good height right there. I like using the T-post upside down so you have a base to mount your camera around. Try to see what the image is that the camera's getting. Can you see? Yeah. I've already got it all set up, but I'm going to go, let me go back to commands, and I'm just going to check and make sure we're getting good cell phone service here. Cell menu, confirm, cell mode, on, off, more, cell rate, cell test, confirm. All right, so I should get a text. It can take a couple of minutes to make sure that's good. So we'll go on here. I'm going to put it on. I just armed it. It's going to do its little countdown. And yeah. then I think while we wait to get our cell phone test, we'll do a little fishing. You want to fish? Yeah, we got a pole in the back. We can each take a couple of casts and see who can catch a fish. I've just seen two fish jump, one right here in the corner of the dock and one straight out. So I think our odds are good. I'm only going to do five casts. Five casts. And then you can do five. Are you going to bite? I don't know if I got a bite or from snagged on something. I honestly think it was warmer on the day that we went ice fishing because my hands are cold and my hands did not get cold that day. Or maybe it was just the excitement of ice fishing. I don't know. All right, I only got two more casts left. So I'm gonna go over to the rock and see if we get anything over there. All right, this will be cast number four. Come on, baby, give me a trout. My odds aren't looking good. Oh, I had seen something flash up at it, but it didn't hit it. <clears throat> All right, my last cast. <sighs> Nothing. Your turn. I did see one over here the belly of a trout come up to it, but I never got a hit. Okay, so. I'll do two over here and three over at the... I'd do three over here if I was you and then two uh, over there. Well, you didn't catch anything, so... Where'd it go? Ooh, way over there. All right, cast one. Oh, I think I'm stuck. Fishy fishies. I have to practice my casting when I don't have everybody looking at me. No one's looking at you. Nobody's looking at me. I'm catching some weeds. Yeah. I need to redo. Nope. Yes, it didn't. It's not even. Now you go to the other side. There's one just jumped over here and one over here. Yeah, we didn't have the camera. We were walking over to the dock and... They just jumped right out of the water to get a bug. They're just taunting us, saying, you guys can't catch us today. They're teasing you. Yeah, they are. Probably catch a tree. <laughs> I'm terrible at this. It, 
I just have some kind of swing that I keep getting over that way. You know what the problem is, is I brought pliers today so we could get them off the hook easy. I just jinxed us, so. Where did you get time, those pliers from? Next time, don't bring pliers from my toolbox. Those are not from your toolbox. I yeah, have never I just seen got them out of my toolbox. I have never seen those before. They're new ones, but they just came out of the toolbox. Yeah. Oh. Maybe you need to not get some pliers and get an actual fishing pole that's not an ice fishing pole. All right, do one more if you're going to blame it on my ice fishing pole. No. But then I also hear you saying, I can go buy something else. Yeah, a fishing pole. <laughs> Listen, I don't, I already casted like five times more than I was supposed to. All right, well, I'll cast one more time then. Kind of the area they were jumping. I know. It's where they've been jumping. Nothing. All right, ready? I guess it's playing. Back to work. I guess it's a good thing we didn't eat dinner tonight because we'd be hungry. All right, let's set up the other trail cameras. Turn the heat on. We don't have no heat. Maybe someday. tracks right here. Oh yeah, it looks like moose. This one. I yeah, look at that. That's a big moose. Yeah, a big moose coming through here. Oh, so we should put the camera here. Maybe we just go up to that birch tree. What if we just stick it right here on this tree? Or the birch tree, yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Let me put my hand beside it. Can you see it? Wow. And then it looks like something else maybe. I'm coming over here. So that makes me wonder if this is the same one that's been down by where we're gonna be putting the other two buildings. They've been walking there and then up here for some oh, reason. That makes kind of sense. I don't know. So let me put it right here. All right, so now let me angle it down this way. Yeah. All right, let's turn this one on. Trigger image, so it's armed. So I took a photo. Of your hand? And it's okay, it triggered it. All right, so it went off. Okay, so let's go to the secret garden area. We'll put one up there and then we'll go down to the creek. Okay. And get that one set up. All right, we'll go to, we'll go to the creek first and then we'll come back up. What's that compared to the size of my foot? So I'm about I'm a size six, so that's probably about a size four. <laughs> We didn't even make it that far. We just backed out of the trail. The camera's right there. And look at all these deer tracks. It's like something was doing a dance over here. That whole area is just loaded with deer tracks. Hey, there's a whole bunch of them. Right? Something going on. Just all over the place. Look at that. Can't wait to see what that camera gets on it. It's kind of funny that there's a bunch of deer tracks right here, but there's nothing going up that trail. There is a bunch of tracks on this side too. I think if I set the camera up over there, facing towards, let me go over there and look, I think it's facing this way towards the dam, or maybe we gotta go this way, that way. I don't know, I'll get out and look. So there's all sorts of different kind of tracks. These look like coon or fisher cat tracks. I see, I don't know if that's canine or bobcat over there. And then, I don't know if that's a bird or a beaver, because there's actually, I don't know, because they're more of a tapered, long, like a paddle track. Stuff right here on the edge. That might be what we saw yesterday. So we got a bunch of these little fresh tracks. That's what I was seeing yesterday. All over here. So like this, it's like a webbed foot or a paddle. Not sure what that is. Something living in there? Let me know what you think. Cause there's two identical holes, boom and boom. Nothing I did. 
that is something completely different right there. That, I'm gonna say, is a bear track right there and there. You got the paw, the toes, and then the claws. I'm bet you that's a bear. I'm trying to see if I see any more. Nothing that big. You got your webbed foot ones there. The bear track is somewhat there. I missed it. You missed it. I just fell in. How did you fall in? <laughs> Crossing. I was looking at some animal poop. You were. I think. All right, we're going to set up right here, pointing this way, because there's the two holes right there in the bank. And I'm wondering if something's living in that bank. That'd be kind of neat, kind of see it come out. Right. It's already on and taking pictures of me. I had set them all up this morning inside, so I guess I never shut it off. I think that'll be good. We'll check it in the morning. All right, we got one more to set. You know it's dusty when you gotta clean your camera off. There's some good sized deer tracks right here. So this is the secret garden area up here. And I'm wondering if we just put on that, those maple trees and see what's coming up this trail because that was some good sign we were seeing. Well, this is my secret garden, not so secret. I call it a secret garden because it's kind of like hidden in the woods a little bit, which I love. Just gonna be putting cameras up to see what we might have to be protecting the garden from. I do have plans, so I don't hopefully have to worry about that. All right, we'll stick it right on this maple. that open it up turn it on so mode arm all right it's counting down so it is good we'll let these sit overnight and we'll check them in the morning good morning it is a brisk 22 degrees out this morning and i am very curious to see how the meat birds did because that is a cold morning i know we have two heat lamps on them but it is still cold come on peepers how you doing you look like you are doing awesome. They're not all huddling under the lights. They're all active. They drank all their water and they ate all their food. It is awesome that they are doing well because it is a chilly morning and you just never know when the birds are this young, how they're gonna fear. So I'm happy to report that we didn't lose any. All right, it is time to go check and see what came in down by the brook last night. There was quite a few tracks there. So who knows, it could be a bear could be so many different things. Those holes you found yesterday look bigger. I was gonna say, I wonder if there's anything fresh. I guess we gotta find out. So this camera is a cell phone camera. So if I had a plan, it would text me the pictures, but I don't have this one set up on a plan right yet. So that's why we gotta come down here and check it. We brought our iPad, so we can just pull our SD card and check it down here. It's beautiful out. It was 22 degrees out at 4 a.m. and it's 40 right now. And it feels so good. So we beat a record this morning of the coldest temperature this time of year or this date. It was 22 degrees Fahrenheit this morning, negative five degrees Celsius. So it was cold. I'm actually wondering if nothing was out and about this morning because it was so cold. I don't blame them. I wouldn't blame them either. I'd stay in. Oh. <clears throat> getting stuck in the mud. All right, so I think that's Ricky the raccoon right there. Oh, yeah. 
And that would have been in the wee hours. Yeah, Last night at 10.22, we have Ricky the raccoon. 5.15, something settled off, but I'm not seeing anything. 5.12, 4 o'clock, 3, 3.30. Huh, there's okay. a raccoon. So what we have right now so far is Ricky the raccoon on there at 10 o'clock last night. So we'll set it back up. Maybe I'll spin it a little bit so it's getting down this way more. I want to see stuff come out of that little den. I know, me too, but we were getting that way right. pretty far. So now we'll be able to get that and over here a little bit better because that's where Ricky came from was this direction. We'll check that one in the morning. Now we can go back and see what the other cameras got on the computer. So I got an email this morning at 4.20 from Cuddyback sending me a report saying we got nothing last night. Nothing? Nothing. So that means, that's telling me that it was too cold and nothing was really moving. All right, so we got another email at 2.11 in the morning. I just assumed they were the same. We got a nice coyote. Oh, yeah. So I got to figure out, so that's zero, zero. So zero, zero is up at the pond. Zero one is up at Moose Alley, and then the other camera is up that way. So this is gonna be up at the pond. He was trotting by. Caught you red-handed. Hopefully he stays up that way. All right, I just saw I had another email go to my junk from them. So we gotta download it. And we have another coyote coming in last night at 9.15. And that would make sense because around that time I went outside last night and I had to put wood in the outdoor wood boiler because it was gonna be cold and I could hear something howling over there. So he must have came up afterwards right there. Your phone is pretty smudgy. It is, can you see it? You gotta come in here maybe where the sun's not getting it. There you go. So that is, I wanna say it's a different one, hold on. I don't think they're the same coyotes that was up at the pond and then down here, but they could have been, I guess. Oh, I making know. the rounds? Yeah, you could have. It would have been here first at one point and then up there, I'm not sure. Huh, we know we got plenty of coyotes, now we just gotta find all the other critters. They need to be staying out of my secret garden and out of my pastures. I don't want no coyotes. We'll check back in in the morning and see what we have on there tomorrow. We're back down here this morning at the beaver dam and I wanna check this camera real quick and then we're gonna move it from facing this direction after we check it to moving and facing that direction because we had quite a bit more tracks down there. I want to see if the bear and anything else is coming back over on that end. So let's see what we have here this morning. All right, so we got Ricky from the other night. And then we have Ricky swimming. The raccoon was back. And then we have, looks like a whole bunch of daytime pictures of nothing. So we have it set up this way. So this is the view I'm hoping to capture. We had a ton of tracks right there, so it'd be nice if that bear came back and we got him. So it has been a couple of days and we got a lot of rain last night. I moved the game camera so this way it's pointing more that way. And you know what? The area we were looking to see if we had any animals come in is covered in water. So it'll be interesting to see what happened. I think that if he didn't move his game camera, it probably would be maybe close to being underwater. So it'd, it's a good thing he made that choice. It would be close to being underwater. It wouldn't be underwater, but it'd be close. All 
All right, let's see what we got on the game camera. <gasps> what? No way. Hold on, what? Oh, there's a couple of different things, okay. Okay, what? So let's go in the shade. So we have a blue heron. That's cool, that was right here. What the heck? And he's right here on, that must have been before it rained because that rock ain't out of the water. Well, you can see 2 p.m. yesterday. Yesterday at 2 p.m. He was there again at 1019 in the morning. <laughs> oh, that's a big one. That's a big bear. So 520 at 952. That's a good size bear. Look at that. All right, everything is just of the grass. So Ricky the raccoon hasn't been back. I wonder if the bear scared him off. But that's a good size bear. That's not a little cub. No. So now I'll take out my phone and we'll see what we've been getting pictures of out at the other game cameras. So this is a bear cub up behind the house at the secret garden. And then this is my tractor going by up by the pond. And then here we have a deer taking off. That's up behind the house at the secret garden. A side shot of it and then it coming in. So 2.52 a.m. And then up by the pond, we have a turkey. Oh yeah. Turkey, turkey. At 7.39 p.m. The only one I don't think we've got anything from is the one where we're going to Moose Alley, where we saw all the moose tracks. Why did we get the coyote from there? No, we got oh. the coyote from the pond. We got a coyote from the secret garden. And then we've got the deer from the secret garden, a bear up at the secret garden, a turkey, like I said, the turkey at the pond and the coyote at the pond, but nothing at Moose Alley. So we'll leave that one out there for a little bit longer. And if we don't get any more, any pictures out of that, I know it's gone off because I've set it off. So I know the camera's working. We just haven't had any moose coming through there yet, which surprises me. But that is pretty wild what we've been seeing around the property so far. Bear, coyotes, turkey, deer, and a blue heron. It's only been a few days that they've been out. I can't wait to see some moose and how big they are, but it's a start and curious if we'll see what's well, two bears so far and the baby cub was by itself yeah they need to stay at my secret garden so the baby cubs that must be last year's cub and not this year's cub because this year's cub would have been with the mother and i think we would have got it on camera so it must have been last year's kind of small but so. i think that it's just maybe the mom just went behind the camera maybe yeah i don't know we'll keep the cameras out we'll keep on checking what else do you think we'll get on camera oh yeah i forgot to say we got the ricky the raccoon on there a couple of times too so we'll keep these out where they are. This area seems really active and I wanna see what other kind of critters we get out because there was a ton of track like we saw down here and we've already got two of those on camera. So I wanna see if we get like a weasel or anything. Yeah, I hope that blue heron doesn't go up to the pond. Right, we want the blue heron to stay down here not at the pond, that mm. is true. So what else do you think we have lurking around here? This is where we're gonna end the video. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead and we'll see you right back here in the next video. Bye. Bye.